Hello and welcome to my Friday. I've been very busy today doing very boring things, sitting at a desk. And I've also had my walk already in the rain. But today we are going down into the depths of the cellar because there's a job I've been putting off for a very long time. I've got myself in a great big mess down here, basically. Oh dear me. <laughs> I'm not joking, you know. Yeah, this happened. So mess item number one is my old guitar. Look, you can tell how long I've had this because <laughs> I was this sort of youngster that would do that. Cut out eyes and stick them on my guitar case. Uh, anyway, this is out because I pulled it off the shelf. There's a big gap in the shelf over there, as you can see. I was looking for CD-ROMs. I know, those old fashioned things, something to do with my Mac. I was basically looking for a serial number to key in somewhere. But anyway, I haven't put that back yet. But I thought since it's out, I should go through it and see if I really need all those things. Now, that's just music mess because leading up to the Christmas gig I just kind of got messier and messier and was like just panic rehearsing and not putting stuff away. There's music up there. Now you might be thinking what on earth is all that beer doing there? Well that's left over from IB's gathering. A lot of beer did not get drunk and he just kind of shared out what was left so it's just sitting in my cellar at the moment. I have got shopping which I bought back in December. I mentioned it at the time but I didn't film it. I went to Home Bargains one night with IB because he needed to go anyway and he said well why don't we go in the van and you can bulk buy some stuff. So I bought some stuff to restock my cellar because you know I quite like to have emergency stuff in. Well I mostly only had pulses really and tins of tomatoes so I wanted to stock it with other things as well as just that. Now if I can free up this space here you know by condensing that down then that would be good and I can put more food there. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is go through that box and see what's in there. Yeah I think we've definitely got the potential to be more space efficient here. The first thing I've dug out are these scooter things that came with our scooters oh whoops basically they're sets of tools which are just kind of universal things anyway you know so I might as well put those in the toolbox and condense those down and those straps it might come in handy for something I'll save them somewhere if I move this over here just for now it will instantly feel less claustrophobic I think I think because I've got in such a mess down here, it hasn't exactly been doing wonders for my motivation to come down and practice my flute in it. I've kind of had this week off from flute practicing. I figured if I was ever going to have one, now was a good time. But I actually have got a gig coming up in the middle of January. I've had two postponements already. They were on the same day I had a clash. I was organising two but only doing one and depping myself out for one. But the postponement dates are the same I think unless oh I don't know but I'm booked out for the one the new date for the one that I was dealing with today when I was at the desk doing things that were too boring to vlog about oh but anyway I digress right toolbox I think I'm gonna need two hands for that let's see what we've got in these bags then definitely only need one set of scooter blurb if we need any at all I don't know. Do we need this stuff? I know how the scooters work. Scooter operational instructions. We just stand on it and scoot your foot. Ah, I don't need them, do I? Can I chuck them out? Will I regret it? Possibly. But they're going, both of them. You can look everything up online these days, can't you? Other than that, we've got a strap. Well, straps always come in handy. We've got to keep straps. Ooh, it's a, that's handy. Look, there's a screwdriver on there. I say it's handy, I have screwdrivers like that already, Allen key, a little spanner, and this will be exactly the same, so, right, let's do some chucking out, I'm questioning about the instructions now, should I put them in my instructions book, maybe, no, I'll save that one, I'm gonna, I've got a box file up in my bedroom office with things like that, it's called instructions, <laughs> I'll put it in there, I'll just chuck it over there for now, whoops, that bit can go... I need to get a different recycling bin down here. That one's just for paper. I've got an ordinary bin as well. Uh, right, I'll be back. Okay, I have come downstairs with a bag for plastic things for recycling or metal or glass. And I've also got a charity bag, so you never know. I might be able to persuade myself to part with something. Now this is mostly stuff that came here from the old house, so it's already been gone through and decided it's essential for keeping. But will I still think so, having been here for over two years now? I might have changed my mind, we'll see. I know what will make this boring job a bit nicer. Lighting the lamp. 
that Alex McCleary sent me for Christmas and then we're going to get some nice smells. Isabel bought me this rather lovely sweet black cherry wax melt for Christmas, that's just the empty packaging actually, all that means that can go in my recycling thing. So that's going to melt and it's going to go transparent soon and we'll be able to see right through it, but for now it is opaque. So the first bit of rubbish is going and do you know what? I think there's going to be a fair bit because I've been saving packing material for posting Christmas presents and I don't need it now so I should be just ruthless and get rid of a load of it. I found something to get rid of that used to be so useful, CD boxes and sleeves, we don't use CDs, if I want music now I download it, I don't buy an actual CD, but look I collected all these empty boxes up thinking well how useful for when I get my blank CDs with stuff copied on, not anymore we don't, look all these are brand new, look what these were, they were hanging things to go in like a CD hanging system. I could charity shop those, honestly, because they're lovely, but they're no good to me, but somebody out there might want them. And look at that, I've got a whole stack of blank CDs for recording on. We just don't use them anymore, do we? That's the thing. I've got a mini kettle for travel, but I can keep that, definitely. Oh, this is part of a broken metronome that doesn't get used anymore, so that could go in the recycling for sure. It doesn't keep time, it's in IB's house, but it needs to go in the bin. Oh, look, more or CD covers. Someone will probably watch this now and say, oh, I love Adam. <laughs> Don't charity shop them. Probably my mum, actually. Mum, do you want some CD boxes? <laughs> Found another one of them. So the charity shop bag has already got the first things in. I've got rid of both of those hanging file CD things and I'm going to charity shop one of the new unopened packets of 50 CD slash DVD covers but I will keep the other one because I bet they're going to be harder to buy now and you never know I might find a stack of old ones but I'm going to recycle these and then I can get rid of this box and then recycle that as well. Off you go. Hopefully they do recycle. Never entirely sure. Bye bye. Hello space coming to my house. bulky bit of cardboard going off into the recycling. Feels good it does to be having a purge. That there would you believe is actually a drink holder to go on a mic stand <laughs> but I never use it because I'm just worried someone's gonna come smashing into it and just knock the drink over because people do smash into my mic. You have to keep your eyes open sometimes otherwise you can have your teeth knocked. I've discovered a load of wool here um, seriously, I think now my home edging days are over. I'm not likely to need this wool for anything. I would regularly do weaving activities with children or, you know, we'd be knitting as part of a group, but really not now we're not. So I'm going to go through that and if there's anything decent, I will put that in the charity bag as well. I'm kind of getting into this now. I was quite daunted to start, but now that I'm actually having some little like, you know, you get the dopamine hits, don't you? The little hits of happiness when you're like, yeah, chuck that in the bag. Oh yeah, I've made a little bit of progress. And then I'm like, oh, what more bits of progress I'm gonna make? So yeah, it's going quite well. I shall go to back on with the box. I've actually been some of these because they were so scruffy, but that one's perfectly good. <laughs> well, look, it looks three dimensional, but it's actually 2D at the moment. That's a funny effect. It's got to a point where this stuff is feeling like a burden to me like a millstone around my neck, weighing me down. Bye-bye. The millstones are going away bit by bit. Seriously, why is it so hard for me to throw away a piece of cut off brown fake fur from where I lined an instrument case with it 20 years ago? Why do I still feel I need to keep this? But I do, I feel like if I throw this in the bin, it's gonna come a moment where I go, ah, oh, really need a bit of fur, just a little scrap of fur for something. I can't make a decision on it. <laughs> this is why I don't like starting these things. I'm going to defer, defer the decision. If you do get the right sort of fur, it can be good for making wind muffs for camera mics. I can't remember if this is the good stuff or not. That isn't because I tried it with that and it was terrible. I'm going to keep the fur because it is good for lining cases when you need to keep stuff, you know, safe and secure. The wool, the bag of wool, which I've now t rationalised and tidied up a bit. Oh, actually, that's a bit scruffy. I'll tidy that up. It's going to go in the charity bag, but I have got some knitting and crocheting friends coming over tomorrow, so I'll just double check with them if they want it, but I suspect they won't. Some of the wool didn't make the charity bag because it was just too scruffy. The obligatory spare leads collection from long since deceased things. Is that a lightning lead? Oh, oh! 
<laughs> it's a disc reader for a lightning collection. I definitely hold on to that. Oh, learn Spanish out of tin. That might be something for a charity shop. You know, if I was going to learn Spanish, I would do it online. I wouldn't use that now. That can go. Printer. Look, I used to be ever so organised with my plug, so I knew what I was turning on and off. Oh, a very terrible mouse, but a spare mouse nonetheless. So if mine goes wrong, I've got a spare, so I'd definitely keep that. Portable DVD player. Now, I don't have a portable DVD player anymore. However, is this a universal power? supply of a certain number of volts i think it is so hold on to that i don't even know what that's for oh thing is you throw it away and then it's the important thing that you didn't know what it was for but then you found out when you needed it and you didn't have it spare disc converter always handy oh i don't even know what that is these are all cds in little cases look oh that came from hyper value value i reckon they can squeeze in there this Area is becoming available. That makes me happy. Oh, is that gonna go in? Squeeze! Just about. I found one of my old notebooks. I've got a feeling this is when I was trying to plan my exit strategy out of the UK. And I'd been trying to make literal time scale checklists of when to do everything. This was probably one of the many rough drafts. It's because I wanted to get Izzy somewhere where the sun would make her eczema go away and give us some respite. I never really got there with that plan, but I did lots of research. I think I can rip a load of these out and just keep the blank pages of the notebook. bag is filling up. I now have a thinner but more serviceable blank notebook that I can use. Yay! That can go in there for now. I'll sort that out another time. Lanyard thing. Sorry, but it's going in the recycling. Oh, that's charity. Don't put it in there. Uh, too many bags. That one. Yes. Hang on, there's paper in there. I've got mixed up. Power leads and misc techie bits can stay as an entity in its own right. Froggy night light is going in the charity bag. Yay! What the heck is Pete's worm tune? That's what I want to know. This is from the days when we used to be in a band. Before we had broadband and we were in bands and we were spread around the UK quite a lot. Like we had one in Lincolnshire, we had some in Gloucester, we had some in South Wales. And we would get together for rehearsals at great expense via train or driving if people drove. But we couldn't just email each other files to work on. So we would like record things for each other and then post them on a CD for each other to rehearse at home on our own with the CD. And then when we came together, you see, boom, it would work because we'd all prepared our parts. But um, yeah, I think I've got quite a collection of these CDs and I'm not quite sure what to do with them. And they're in no particular order. They're just chaotic. There's probably some quite useful little bits and bobs on there. They'd probably be quite interesting to go through. And they're irreplaceable as well. That's the other thing, aren't they? I should probably just put them all in one of those CD books and store them in an archive or something. Oh, happy memories. Festival interceltique Lorient. But do I really need to keep the stickers? <laughs> Not really. I might stick one somewhere. IB might want one. You never know. I'll ask him. I've stuck it on the Misc Techie Bits box. I think I was vlogging at that festival. I'll link the playlist in the description for you if you like. Oh, I just found a great big enormous photograph of me blown up to A3. I discovered you could photocopy normal photographs up to A3 size on like photocopiers in shops in the 90s and that's what I did. I've got quite a few of these enormous photos <laughs> I made into posters. I've just covered my friend up there. We were on a broomstick together in case you're wondering what that was about. A load of twigs tied on with string. It was Halloween in Lisbon. I made fangs for myself. Yes, we went out looking like that. It's going on the keep list but where I'm going to keep it I don't know. I think I've got an enormous box of pictures somewhere. I found a load of folders that are empty that have been used before and they're sort of for just reuse but I've got a drawer for that upstairs so I'm going to go and take those up now and get them out of the way and just combine that. I decided I needed to sit on the stairs, have a lovely coffee that I've just made in my pot and two Ferrero Rocher that Alex McCleary sent us for Christmas from the wish list. So look, the thing is, it's got to get worse before it gets better. That's what I'm telling myself. I can tell you what sent me up the stairs to get that coffee. I saw something in that box. It was... Hannah Montana gift wrap left over from when Izzy was obsessed with Hannah Montana <laughs> it's unopened I think <laughs> we'll keep it I've got quite a bit of gift wrap actually and it's it's not been organized really we've got some up there we've got some down there and there's just stuff that I've kept for packaging if I ever need to post anything leftover stuff I don't even know where that came from 
Oh, and bubble wrap. So I need to consolidate all that really into one place. I'll pop it there for now with the other wrappy bits. I've emptied that whole box. I'm feeling very pleased with myself. I can collapse that down and put it in the recycling. I'm very pleased with myself indeed. I've condensed all the gift wrapping stuff and the bubble wrap into just that bit up there on top of the DIY stuff. It's like a paint roller thingy there. I've put the drill back in the drill thing. Well, it's kind of protruding out of the top, but I couldn't be bothered. It'll do. Uh, so that's up there. I've got um, here, I've got just accessible because I like to have them just accessible but there. Oh, there's a saw I might put it up there. Thing is though I like to keep this edge free for vlogging reasons because sometimes I just put my camera on the tripod just by there and I hate it if I've got to move some stuff out of the way so that's um, a reason in favour for that. I have to be careful the legs of the tripods don't go down the holes though because that happens sometimes. I found this little collection of bits and bobs but in these I have uh, screws in that one so like they're all different sorts and I've got one for nails as well and this one's different odds and ends so I can basically file those away in there. I'm going to keep those the blank CDRs because you just I don't know I've still got a disc writer in my old laptop and I'm not getting rid of my old laptop I'm going to keep it as my backup editing laptop. That is never going to fit in my bag or is it? pile of things here. I don't know what they are but I'm gonna find out if I need to keep them or not and file them accordingly hopefully. Check me out with my perfectly alphabeticalized collection there but the thing is I never listen to any of them it's just so much easier to stream these days. They're pretty much all audio CDs to be honest I'm just putting them there for now apart from the ones that have literally got an original box. How much of this old stuff do we keep just in case the wi-fi goes down for an extended period? I just don't know. And I don't know how likely it is. I guess it's just a matter of balancing risk compilation. Ooh, one day I might fancy, oh, I just really fancy playing a random compilation CD. I'll go and find one that's not in any specific place where I can't actually find it on that shelf. I'm not seeing the logic of keeping it, but it might have some really good stuff on it. Oh, you no, know, I'm deferring the decision on that. It's tidy in there anyway. That can go in the charity bag because we don't even have a PlayStation anymore. Look, we've nearly freed up a little bit of space. In fact, we have. There's been a random bag up there that I've just taken down. It's been up there since I put the shelves there. It's still packed from the move. It looks like one of those bags when you're moving house and it's the last bag of bits that gets packed. Ooh, more of those, excellent. I'm gonna go through here now. It looks like just pens and the odd tools stickers. Yeah, I think I should be able to get through that and empty it in no time. I'm on to filing these little bits. Oh, I just got rid of a load of Allen keys. I had loads of identical ones, so they're going to the charity shop. Hmm, right, where should I put all these bits and bobs now then? These end ones look like they've got all the things that just don't fit anywhere else. That's the things that don't fit anywhere else category. I've got doweling in this one. Well, I've got a few hooks anyway. I can perhaps find a chamber for those. Well, it doesn't matter if they're exact, does it? These won't exactly match any of these. I'm just gonna put them in that one. People will be going, no, Imogen, it's not exactly the same length. Oh, I know it isn't. I'm just doing my best. Got a load of washers. Oh, there's washers. Well, that wasn't the best nail screw and rule plug filing I've ever done, but I have freed up some things to go in the recycling like that, which can now go out of my life. And a bit of plastic, yay. That can go there. And moments later, there it is. Those can go back there. I have no idea why there was a towel down here, but there was. That can go up and go in the wash. I think I'm at a point now where I can start going through these bags of food that I got from home bargains and other things and start putting them on the shelf, which is what I originally came down here to do. That can go in the recycling. Do you know, I used to do props for something Isabel was involved with and I used to just hoard little bits of bobs like that for making props. You know, I was on about the socks yesterday that didn't turn up. I've just seen a package down there because I had Christmas presents piled up down here and I'm wondering if that grey package there could be it. It feels like it. Oh my goodness. <gasps> is this another wish list item? I think it is. Oh my goodness, how funny. Let's have a look then. I'm so glad I didn't contact Amazon. It is. <laughs> oh, what am I like? Oh, I'm a disorganisation. Yes, I just bought some of these yesterday. But it doesn't matter because, oh, look how nice they are. <gasps> 
I get through a lot of socks. I quite often get through two pairs a day because I go out walking and they get sweaty and I change them. Oh, let's see who they're from. <laughs> I think it's probably Julie of Portsmouth because of a cryptic letter she put in the Toblerone. If you're watching, thank you so much for my socks. I'm so happy. I have now got plenty of socks and I don't need to worry about having to pair up odd ones all the time. <laughs> that was worth doing this sorting out just for the socks, that was. I'm glad I didn't contact Amazon. That would have been a bit embarrassing, wouldn't it? Well, the beer can go there. I can gradually work my way through that. I don't tend to drink more than one in a 24 hour period, so that'll last me ages, that will. So here's all that shopping from about three or four weeks ago. Even I can't remember what I bought. I went through it at the time to make sure there was no perishables. So look at all this shelf space I've got now that I've freed up with my sorting out. I'm so proud of myself. Definitely not finished. I still need to do, oh, a lot, definitely. I found a load of headed notepaper from a committee that I'm not even on anymore. So everything's obsolete. So I can chuck that in the recycling. I've just had a bit of a quick reorganization of my original supplies of what I had before I decided I needed to pop it up so these are just sort of multiples of the same item as you can see butter beans chickpeas lentils red kidney beans chopped tomatoes peas there's mushy and there's some non-mushy as well whole green beans in water tin of potatoes three tins of sardines one tin of beef ravioli which nobody wants to eat now because izzy's gone vegetarian but ib might eat it spaghetti hoops and one tin of mushroom soup randomly two tins of tuna which izzy's also refusing to eat but i'll eat um, uh, this one instant porridge. Okay, we got crisps. We got some others as well. Yeah, we had some skips. Oh, and some other sea books, I think. Right, well, they're bulky, aren't they? So, pop them there. Uh, what's that? Oh, lentil soup. Excellent. I'll oh, put that with the mushroom. Right, I tell you what, this isn't going to work out. I'm going to just turn the camera off a minute and then I'm going to show you what else I've got. I think I might be over the top with my uh, apocalypse cupboards here. <laughs> I don't think me and Izzy could eat this in 10 days if we had to isolate for 10 days. We could get snowed in for about a month, I think. But anyway, here it is. I just went crazy. I didn't go with a list. It was just like really spur of the moment thing. IB was going anyway in the van. He was like, right, just, you know... If you want to stock up, now's a good time to do it. So this is what I impulsively bought. Right, so you've seen my pulsy cupboard, but I've just added some condensed mushroom soups to that. And I think as an extra lentil soup, but other than that, I didn't get any more pulses because I knew I had a load. Down here on the lower shelf, we have a toiletries area. Yes, I panic bought a packet of 12 loo rolls. Confession. There's also some fabric softener. <sighs> I'm not sure if that really counts as emergency, but... I'll probably just use it, to be honest, when I run out of my other one. There's laundry detergent there, it's personal, non-bio. In here we have got ladies' sanitary towels, if you must know. I bought a big multi-pack and put half of them upstairs. Toothpaste, because, you know, we don't want to run out of toothpaste. I mean, we have got friends that would probably come and do us a delivery, but, you know, I don't want to be a bother to people. Dutch crisp bakes, so it's like, you know, kind of alternative to bread. When's the date on them? November, I'll eat them by then. I've got quite a few herbs behind now. I don't know if you can quite see some basil and oregano, Italian seasoning. Isabel persuaded me to get emergency caramel wafers, so there's two big packets of those. I've got loads of coca noodles. Those are the curry flavour. That's all they happen to have in home bargains. Got a few, quite a few of those sort of things, dried packety things. And also, as I said before, quite a few of the ready to microwave rices and there's some ready to wok noodles. Oh, this, this is from Home Bargains as well. Quinoa, just in case. Run out of cheese. It's like grated cheese. Dried Oxo cubes. Rice Krispies for Izzy. There's some other cereal as well. Special K. Cheddars. Pretzels for Izzy because she reckons she can't live without them. But that said, she's already sneaked down because there were originally three packets. And she's snaffled one already, even though she's banned. But she managed to talk me into that. Rice cakes, but I could only get paprika. Don't know what they're like. But, you know, if I was isolating and couldn't get out, I'd be glad of them. Um, two big packets of tagliatelle, because I couldn't buy the normal pasta, they didn't seem to have it. Some whole almonds, two packets of Bombay mix. That's my guilty pleasure in the evenings, that is. I know it's fattening as well, isn't it? But I just, I suddenly start fancying it about 11 o'clock. Decaf tea bags. I've got a feeling only one of those was actually meant for the apocalypse cupboard. I think the other one was just meant for the cupboard cupboard, but found its way down here. What else? Oh, that's past beyond there. Um, and yeah, crisps, because we like crisps. Well, it's not finished, but I'm not doing any more for now, because I've been at it ages. 
and I've had enough, I'm bored now. So I'm gonna take my recycling bins and I go and put them out in my wheelie bin out the front, ready to put on the pavement when it's bin day. Got my charity bag here, but that'll be a work in progress. So there'll be more things going that, I dare say. I've got no idea how much I've filmed. I'm gonna go and do some editing after I've sorted the bins out. Hello, this is editing me the next evening. Just popping on to finish the vlog because I forgot to do it. Thank you so much for watching. Could you give it a like if you liked it? It really helps the channel to grow. If you are new here and would like to follow more of my story here in South Wales, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.